Financial Charts Using MPL Finance In our previous lesson, we have learned how to create various types of financial charts using MPL Finance. In this lesson, we will learn how to apply various styles and how to create new styles for modifying the appearances of the charts. If you are new to MPL Finance module, then you should watch the previous lesson first, the link is given in the i button above and also in the description. So, let's begin. First of all we need to import the required modules, MPL Finance and Y Finance. Now we need to download stock OHLC data. Here we are using Y Finance's download function for downloading the data for the stock TCS.NS. .NS stands for National Stock Exchange. We are using the stock prices of TCS listed in NSE, India. Let's view the first few rows of the data frame DF. These are the open, high, low, close, volume data for various trading dates. Let's view the column names of the data frame. Here are the column names. We may plot this data simply by passing the DF to the MPL Finance's plot function as an argument. And here is the default OHLC plot for TCS stock for the last one month. We may change the chart type using the type parameter. Let's plot candlestick chart. And here is our candlestick chart of the same data frame. Now let's download the OHLC data for AMZN, that is, Amazon. And this is the candlestick chart for Amazon for the last one month's OHLC data. Let's change the stock to TSLA, that is, Tesla, and change the period to 3 months. And this is Tesla's candlestick chart for the last 3 months daily OHLC data. Let's add another parameter MAV for plotting moving averages also. Here, we're plotting moving averages for 5, 10, and 15 days. Pass the volume parameter for showing the daily trading volumes also. The bar chart at the bottom shows the daily trading volumes. We may give a suitable title using the title parameter. Until now we are using the default styles for charts. Now let's check what styles are available and how to apply those styles. The available styles are Binance, Binance Dark, Blue Skies, etc. as shown on the screen. We may pass the style argument to the plot function with the style name as shown here. Now the chart is plotted using the Binance style. Let's try Yahoo style. Let's try a few more styles one by one. We may select any one of the styles as available in this list.
Let's introduce another parameter, fig ratio. It modifies the aspect ratio of the plot. We need to specify a tuple of width and height for fig ratio. Another parameter, fig scale, is used to scale the size of the figure up or down. The fig scale and fig ratio may be used independently, they need not be specified together. We may store a number of parameters as a dictionary object, and this dictionary may be passed to the plot function. Here is an example of it. Here the dictionary object, kwargs, holds various parameters such as style, MAV, volume, fig ratio, and fig scale. Let's pass this dictionary object to the plot function. Here, instead of passing individual parameters, we are passing a number of parameters through a predefined dictionary. Other parameters may be passed separately, if these are not members of the kwargs dictionary. MPL Finance allows us to create our own styles also, using make underscore market colors and make underscore MPF underscore style functions. Here is an example. Up and down parameters are used for setting the colors of the bars or candles for upward and downward price movements. Here, G stands for green and R for red. You may set your own color. Here we will use our own style as defined in the object S above. As we can see, the colors are as per our supplied arguments. We may also write the color names fully. Instead of color names, we may also supply the HTML color codes also. Not only the bars or candles, but we may also modify the wicks, edges, etc. Here is an example, just follow me while I code.
And here is the output. Let's check the output with one month's data. Now the colors are visible distinctively, isn't it? Now we will supply few more parameters to the plot function for fine-tuning the plot. Notice carefully that the date values are in slanting positions. If we wish, we may alter this position using the X rotation parameter. Let's make the date labels vertical, that is, 90 degree. Now the date labels are aligned vertically. For horizontal labels, set the X rotation value to 0 degree. Now the date labels are horizontal. We may also format the date using the date time underscore format parameter. Tight underscore layout equals true, makes the layout tight. Notice the date labels. Now more dates are shown on the plot. We may use the fill underscore between parameter for filling a particular area of the plot with colors. Here, the area corresponding to the Y value 175 to 200 is filled with blue. Let's try this for OHLC type of plot. Here the output is better than the candlestick chart. Let's try this for 3 months data. This way, we may use the fill underscore between parameter for marking our area of interest. Lastly, let's see how we can change the line color for line plots. We may supply either color name or color code as per our wish. That's all for today's lesson. If you find this lesson helpful, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your valuable feedback is important for me and will help me improve the contents of the channel. Thanks for watching up to the end. Hope to see you in the next, bye.